Vancouver's Lionsgate Bridge sees thousands of large vessels pass beneath it every year. And with that comes some risk. The biggest risk is similar to um, an, an errant vessel that we saw today in Baltimore. And so we look at what mechanisms and measures we can design and construct in place to be able to prevent that. The collapse in Baltimore has prompted questions about the safety of Canada's bridges. In BC, the government says it's confident in its bridges, but has been looking at additions that could deflect any errant ships. It's high time that we uh, learn from this incident. And this expert sure says many bridges across Canada could need improvements to ensure they can withstand potential collisions. The ships are getting bigger, they're carrying more loads, and if uh, for any case these unfortunate events happen, this might affect our bridges as well. He says some of our infrastructure is getting old and could be at risk. We need to um, assess the current uh, condition of our bridges and take proactive actions to make sure that they are ready to uh, um, withstand the um, increasing demand. But authorities in Halifax say they are prepared. We can evacuate the bridge very quickly. We have planning exercises that we do on a regular basis for just this kind of thing and other emergencies that can occur on the bridge. This Halifax bridge has a rock island around its main support structure, there to add a layer of protection. The St. Lawrence Seaway Management Corporation, which sees vessels pass from the Atlantic Ocean to the Great Lakes, says the risk on its territory is low. There are submarine what we call a concrete abutment, that if there would be a loss of control, similar to one observed in Baltimore, the vessel will hit that, uh, that area first and will not reach the uh, structure of the bridge itself. Still, those who run Canadian bridges are watching Baltimore closely to see if any lessons can be learned. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.